The price of a stock of a company goes up when their revenues go up, correspondingly when their income goes up. The other reason the price of a stock might go up is because they've introduced something revolutionarily new that's going to change the world that you live in. That's what I did in my two preceding videos on how uh, the companies of Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, and Meta, because of their tremendous user base, are going to introduce a product that is going to change the way you live, which will generate more income for them, which will generate increased revenue. So what I've basically done is said, okay, I think I know the companies that are going to take care of the rebuild of our infrastructure of our internet to accommodate artificial intelligence and then eventually machine learning. These are the, this is the hardware that's going into the data centers that will accommodate the second phase, and that is the delivery of artificial intelligence to us in multiple forms over the internet. So I've divided that into what I call two bus portfolios. The bus 13 is the one that uh, takes care of the infrastructure uh, and the hardware. And then the, the bus 12 is the one that takes care of the software that's going to deliver the internet uh, to, to you and I using artificial intelligence and machine learning. So then what I said was, okay, what I need to do is look even deeper into each of these stocks and find out what their future earnings projections are, as well as their, their future revenue projections, and then see how they equate with each other and see if I can create a, a pecking order, if you will, of which of the stocks that I hold in my bus 12 and my bus 13 portfolios are going to perform the best. Let me show you what I did, and then I'll take you to the computer, and I'll show you exactly how I did it and then how I evaluate it. This is the chart I created for the best earnings per share growth, okay? And I then I ranked them accordingly. Then what I did was create this chart, which shows their growth relative to their revenues. And then what I want to do is see how they rank against each other to give me a better feel on how I should allocate my funds uh, 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 amongst these stocks to get the greatest return. I'll take you to my computer. I'll walk you through it. I'll show you where you can find it because this is a moving target. Every time that any of these stocks come out with a quarterly earnings report and they project their earnings per share in the future and their revenues in the share per fu per in the future, it changes. So I have to go back and alter it. And I'll show you where I do that and where you can have access to it. First of all, I want to make it clear, this is not financial advice. This is education. This is you, sh me sharing with you my work so that you can become a better investor. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. You'll find these spreadsheets on our website, Best of Us Investors, as you see here. Uh, when you go to the website, and if you're a member of our tribe, uh, you go to services, and you'll see we have the Premium Plus, the, uh, uh, the Platinum, and the Tribe, which is just the Discord. Under the, pre the Platinum, you go to Carrie's uh, portfolio allocation, and the first thing you see is a written explanation of what it is, how it's constructed, and what it's all about. Uh, then, then what you see is the first part is uh, allocated towards the earnings per share growth. And what I have done is entered each of the stocks that I own by ticker symbol. It's on a Google sheet, so this price updates every 15 minutes. These are the number of shares I have and the value. And then what I've done is I've gone into Seeking Alpha and uh, extracted their earnings per share projections for 2024, uh, 2025, and 2026. And as you can see, the highest is 
symbotics, and it is saying that it is going to have a growth of uh, 53% in earnings per share between 2023 and 2024, and then a 400% share, and I know why that is. It's because of a agreement that they have gone into SoftBank for providing uh, robotic uh, uh, robots, uh, AI robots, in small warehouses for anybody and everybody uh, from Spotify or Shopify or whatever. And so then 161%. So base, if their, if their stock price moves in accordance with their earnings per share, this the stock will give me a 1,897% uh, return on my initial investment over three years. Then what I've done is done that for every one of the stocks that I have in my bus 12 and bus 13 portfolios. This is Snowflake. I'm trying to buy it. It's at $157. I want to buy it under 150 actually around 147 So there I, I don't own it, so I, I have shown just one share. But based on their projections of increase in earnings per share, that is the second best stock that I have or will have in my bus 12 and port best 13 portfolios. Third followed by NVIDIA, then um, Intel, and then uh, AEHR. Uh, and they're all stocks that are being driven by artificial intelligence. And you can see I go through each of the stocks and rank them based on their what they've told me, their CEOs and analysts, of what the growth of their earnings per share will be. So then what I said was, there's got to, I, I believe that the price of stock is driven by revenues and then earnings per share. So then what I said was, okay, let's do the same exercise, and, and, but do it with revenues. And so down here, on the lower part of the page, you'll see the same workup, but what we're working on is revenues rather than earnings per share. And you see the pecking order has changed a bit. As as you see, uh, this is now NVIDIA is the top stock. And what I went ahead to do so that wouldn't be me paging up and down all the time, it, their earnings per share over the three years is 497, but their revenue growth is 270. AEHR is uh, 248 as a compared to 237. The other thing I did was I kept them the color on them the same as what they are up here so that I could see any drastic movement. And the first one that jumps out at you is Intel. They dropped when I rank them based on earnings per share they're in the top five at 437. But when I rank them based on revenue, they're down substantially because it's at 33%. I think I understand why that is, but I need it tells me I need to do some additional research. On the other end, here's one that jumped up substantially from the yellow uh, or from the brownish, um, and, and that's Palantir. Would not have thought that based on this past week of Palantir. But Palantir's growth relative to the other stocks in their revenue puts them up substantially higher than they were when we, uh, relative to the other stocks, when we look at earnings per share. So you can see what I've done. Here's some others that moved up substantially in the overall rankings. Uh, Super Micro Computers, Tesla, and Rambus. And then they, these are some that have moved down a bit. And that's AMD. Um, this is ASML and EXTR. So I think you can see what I'm trying to do here is allocate my portfolio. Because again, this column over here, this first column, illustrates what percentage of my portfolio uh, is in each of these stocks. And as you can see, uh, Snow, I don't have any of yet. I'm still, as I said, trying to buy it. But I'm very heavy on uh, super microcomputers, and I, I need to be aware of that. So I might want to take some profits out, out of super micro, and that might be where I, what I buy some of my snowflake with. Uh, or, in, in fact, it being ranked so high, AEHR might be a place that I want to increase my exposure. Then down here, Apple is 24 and 24 projected income. But there's another element of Apple that I covered in those two preceding videos that may not 
may not may indicate that they've got something in the closet they haven't let out yet. So that's how I allocate my portfolio and use these numbers to give me guidance. I, I would suggest that if this is something that you're interested in, come to the website. You just come, come to Best of Us Investors. You come down here, and these are the various levels that we have available. The tribe is the Discord. This is where you can come and talk to other people about what you think um, is happening in the stock market and share information. The Premium Plus is uh, basically the Bus 12, the Bus 13, and 104 portfolios. And then in the, the Platinum, we have Swing Trading and the portfolio allocation. And it, we're going to expand that even further to get Mark, who runs the swing trading program, uh, to do some work on my portfolio and give me guidance based on technical analysis as to how I might move in and out. It's a long-term investment, but I, al I also know that there are forces of technical analysis that tell me NVIDIA may drop $20. It dropped $10 this just last week. Uh, maybe I, where should I take profits? Where should I buy in? And then also what are the tax considerations? So that's something that's, that's in the future, but that gives you an idea what I'm doing to allocate my portfolio and how I'm sharing it with my tribe members.